The word meditation certainly has mystical connotations, uh, but if you look at the current science, things like functional MRI, electroencephalography, and other brain imaging techniques are continually demonstrating that this practice can be learned within 10 to 15 minutes and subsequently improve the way you're paying attention and the way you currently feel. John Kabat-Zinn is the pioneer that first applied mindfulness in a therapeutic context, and he's defined mindfulness as awareness that emerges from paying attention on purpose, non-judgmentally, to your current moment-to-moment -moment experiences. The Healthy Student Initiative offers to students a way to practice this technique and learn this technique in an informal way, being guided by graduate students who've been trained, and through online sessions, in-person sessions with a group, they can learn this technique and then go about their day with a much more mindful disposition. One of the barriers for people practicing mindfulness has been getting proper guidance. The accessibility to the online groups in particular really helps. You feel like you're with a group and you can access it from the comfort of your own home or wherever you may be and you're being guided by the same people that are also in the in-room session so you're familiar with their guidance strategy. Dr. Paul Ritvo is the supervisor of the Healthy Student Initiative and he's a clinical psychologist with over 40 years of mindfulness meditation experience. He's constantly writing and guiding his students about this technique and its practical approach and how it can help in many different contexts. When you feel anticipation and excitement, even nervousness or anxiety, you might get a gut feeling right at the center of your body. Before I did mindfulness, my tendency was to try to constrict that and kind of have it be there. Now that I'm a little more mindful of it, I enjoy just having it circulate through my body. I don't try to constrict it. I notice it, oh look, I must be really anxious at this moment. And then sooner or later, that anxious gut feeling dissolves away. That's been a really unique experience that I've had continuously.